God message for you today. Beloved children of God, as we stand on the threshold of the final days of August 2024, it is undeniable that we are witnessing the unfolding of events that have been foretold. The world is trembling flash floods have ravaged Brazil, China, and Saudi Arabia, and the global economy is faltering under the weight of these disasters. Yet the physical upheaval is just the beginning. The Holy Spirit has revealed that this month is a phase where nightmares are becoming reality. Demons are set to emerge, wreaking havoc on a scale never seen before. In the last 25 days, the prophecies spoken by the Holy Spirit have come to pass with terrifying accuracy. The storm that struck on August 15th was no ordinary event. It was a sign, a harbinger of the spiritual battle that is now upon us. This was not a mere meteorological phenomenon, but a declaration from the heavens, as Psalm 19 to 1 reminds us the heavens declare the glory of God and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. But this is just the beginning. The Holy Spirit warns that the remaining days of August will bring unprecedented turmoil. We are on the brink of a global crisis, both in the physical and spiritual realms. Tensions between nations are escalating, fueled by economic instability and ideological conflict. Governments are scrambling, teetering on the edge of chaos, while behind the scenes the forces of darkness are gathering for a final, devastating assault. This is not just a nightmare. The rise of the spirit of the Antichrist is no longer a distant threat. It is here now. Unrighteous governments are enacting laws that tear at the fabric of society leading many astray. False prophets and deceivers are multiplying, their words as smooth as they are empty, luring countless souls into darkness. As the days ahead grow darker, the Holy Spirit has given us a road map to navigate the chaos. First and foremost, we must anchor ourselves in faith in the unchanging character of our sovereign God. It is our faith that will sustain us through the coming trials, reminding us that we serve a God who is greater than any adversary we may face. Prayer will be our most potent weapon, the lifeline connecting us to the source of all strength. But prayer alone will not suffice we must guard our hearts and minds, surrounding ourselves with fellow believers who can offer support and accountability. We must put on the full armor of God as described in Ephesians 6.10-18, preparing ourselves for the spiritual battle ahead. In a world growing ever darker, we are called to be beacons of holiness, set apart not in self-righteousness, but in humility and grace. We must shine as lights in the darkness, reflecting the purity and righteousness of Christ. The call to holiness is a call to be different, to stand firm against the encroaching darkness with the boldness and conviction that comes from the Holy Spirit. Now, to the faithful believers and followers of Christ, I invite you to join me in a powerful prayer for the remaining days of August 2024. This prayer is not just words, but a declaration of faith, a plea for divine intervention in these perilous times. Heavenly Father, 
we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We acknowledge your sovereignty and holiness in a world plagued by sin and corruption. We recognize the desperate need for your presence and intervention. We thank you for the call to holiness, for inviting us into deeper communion with you and transforming us into vessels of your glory. Lord, as we bow before you, we confess our need for your cleansing and purified touch. Forgive us for our shortcomings and failures. Lead us back into the center of your will. Father, we pray for the strength and courage to purify ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit. Help us to cast off the chains of sin and embrace the freedom that comes from walking in obedience to your word. Lord Jesus, you are the perfect example of holiness and purity. Help us to follow in your footsteps, to love as you loved, to forgive as you forgave, and to live lives that reflect your character to a watching world. Holy Spirit, we invite your presence to dwell within us, empowering us to live lives of holiness and purity. Fill us afresh with your power and anointing. Lead us and guide us in the paths of righteousness. Lord, we pray for the courage to stand firm in the face of opposition and persecution. Give us the boldness to proclaim your gospel with confidence and conviction. Father, we lift up those who are struggling to live holy and pure lives in the midst of a dark and sinful world. Strengthen them, O Lord, and surround them with your love and protection. Finally, Lord, we pray for a revival of holiness in your church and in the world. May your spirit move mightily among your people stiring hearts and igniting a passion for righteousness and godliness. As we move through the last few days of August 2024, we must be vigilant. The trials ahead will test our faith, but we are not alone. The Holy Spirit is with us, guiding and strengthening us. When the path grows dark, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, who endured the cross for the joy set before him and now sits at the right hand of God's throne. In these trying times, let the word of God be your guide. The Bible is our most reliable source of truth, providing wisdom and comfort as the world descends into chaos. Meditate on God's promises and let his truth fill your heart and mind. Do not let fear take root in your heart. The enemy will try to sow doubt and despair, but we can combat this with the power of God's word. Remember Isaiah 41 to 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As the darkness closes in, we must continue to walk in love. The love of many will grow cold, but we are called to be different. Let us be known by our love, even for those who oppose us, in this way we reflect the light of Christ in a world desperately in need of hope. Finally, let us not forget the importance of community. We are not meant to walk this path alone. The body of Christ is a source of strength, support, and accountability. 
as we face the trials ahead, draw closer to your brothers and sisters in Christ. Pray for one another, share your burdens, and encourage one another to stand firm in the faith. As we greet each new day, let us do so with thanksgiving and hope, knowing that God is working all things together for our good. May we stand firm, knowing that our labor in the Lord is not in vain, and that those who endure to the end will receive the crown of righteousness. Dear child of God, please share this message with your loved one. God bless you.